Anybody talk shit to you after they hit you? I assume you were uh, a picture that they would want on their mantle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like sacking Peyton Manning. Anybody talk shit or is everybody like real cordial? No, you know, uh, I mean, I didn't really engage anything. I wasn't good at it. Like my dad never taught me how to talk trash. So I sucked at it. So I wasn't going to start it. Um, you know, uh, the one big hit I remember, we played the Dolphins one time. And I think, like, Taylor hit me from the front. And this defensive end, I want to say is Bromel, hit me from the uh, – uh, no, Taylor hit me from the back. Bromel hit me from the front, broke my jaw. So, you know, he got fined, like, 2500 bucks, which, like, back then, like, he had that in cash in his pants. He, like, pays the F right then. And, like, you know, he's cleared on the fine. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's going to do a lot to him. Anyway, the story is he appealed his fine. He didn't agree with the fine. And he wanted to know via his agent if I would call in on his appeal to the NFL to try to get his fine reduced. I'm like, well, I can't speak. My mouth, my mouth, my, yeah, I'll, I'll call in. I like to increase that fine to like 200 grand, buddy. Thanks a lot for the job. <laughs> uh, the thought of you actually having to go right through the wire, mm -hmm. you know, to Roger Goodell to explain the case. What a time. How many of those shots you take? Broken jaw, how many games you missed? None. Yeah, I didn't miss any. I mean, uh, the... Uh, What's your problem, uh, dude? Hey, hey, seriously, let's talk about this. You know, because, like, the Iron Man thing mm -hmm. gets brought up. You know, you're super cerebral. People have seen you avoid hits, mm -hmm. you know, and they're like, oh, look at him avoid hits. It's like, uh, how many games have you missed? Uh, none, ever. But you've taken a lot of shots through the whole thing. Did you just feel like you had to play through a broken fucking jaw? Like, why is that? Do you think that's just how you've always been? Or because it's vastly different nowadays, I think. I think it's yeah. like doctors wouldn't even let you do things. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, obviously, I mean, with the draft, uh, you know, just the other day, uh, uh, it's funny. I was thinking, thinking back a lot uh, to my rookie year in 98, 25 years ago. Uh, was not very good that year, Pat. Um, uh, through 28 interceptions, which which we you know, talk about still, uh, is a record that I would like to get broken. I feel like this might be the year. You know, you know. I mean, my advice to these coaches: play young, play uh, Stroud, play Richardson. Let them learn. But if they throw 29 picks, that's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. That would put them as, as the new rookie record holder. But anyway, the one thing I did do well that year is I took every snap and. I learned a lot, and I kind of hung in there. So that just kind of became something that I wanted to do. I wanted to be in there. You know, I wanted my linemen in there for me. I wanted to be in there for them. Uh, you know, my dad got hit a lot. Uh, but, you know, didn't have, you know, great protection, but he was tough, and he hung in there. So uh, I guess he kind of passed that on to me. He didn't pass on any of his speed, unfortunately. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, when I got injured, uh, uh, my um, – uh, in my four, in my 14th season with the Colts and not being able to play that whole season, that was the hardest part because you because you want to be in there for you know for your teammates. And I, I remember being in my hospital bed in, in California watching the Colts play the Texans. You were in that game, and um, I don't get too emotional, but I, I, I kind of cried for the first time just because. Uh, because I wasn't out there playing, so uh, that was a tough deal. Yeah, you were fully invested, man. We were very lucky to be your teammate. I think everybody that's ever played with you thinks that, so we appreciate your commitment to the game. And also, like, I saw Kenny Pickett the other day was shotgunning beers with Luke Combs on a stage. He had a suite with a bunch of his teammates and offensive linemen drinking beers with him. I'm like, right. that's fucking, that's like it being a teammate right there. Like, that is building camaraderie, that's building trust, like, you were always a guy that, like, wanted to be a good teammate, too, which you didn't have to be ever. So you did good. Well, you did good. You know, Big four, like did that. good. I still think about, I mean, that golf tournament, uh, that golf trip to French Lick. I mean, who knows? Uh, who knew then that story would get so much coverage with you spreading <laughs> the gospel of the, uh, of the Red 18? I mean, I'm telling you, I saw some college kids the other day. You know, they, not, they don't ask me one question about, football about commercials all they want to say is the red 18 story true just tell me it's true i'm like mcafee he he has added a few bells and whistles but the facts are the facts now i've tried that 20 other times and i missed but the one time i hit 
McAfee was there to spread the word, so uh, they were so fired up to hear it. Yeah, I've withheld some stuff. I've, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know, done some other <laughs> stuff. It is... Man, it was remarkable. That was my first time, like, fucking hanging out with you. I didn't know why I was invited. I didn't even have golf clubs. I had to borrow golf clubs from somebody. Mm -hmm. I had to borrow golf clubs to go do this. It was like, well, I'm not saying no to this. It was like All one right. of the first weekends I was in town. Hey, do you want to go golf? Uh, yeah. How does this work? Uh, we'll just have a bus. We'll do the whole thing. I'm like, yeah, this is awesome. Thank you for this. I'm going to do my thing. And then it was a blast. Like, from literally beginning to the end, it was a great time. We're on this bus. Go down. Have fun. Golf. It's all set up. This dude sets up everything.